One of the most exciting objects in our solar system at the moment is a small moon of Jupiter by the name of Europa. By all accounts, an object that small, that far away from the Sun, should be very, very boring indeed. And at first glance, that is what Europa does actually look like. It looks like a ball of ice that is frozen solid. And that is fairly uninteresting. And yet, scientists are really excited about this object. Why? Because when you look at Europa and you look at it closely, you'll see something very intriguing. You'll see lots of crack lines across the ice. And that is very significant indeed, because that indicates something very special. You see, if it was a solid ball of ice and rock, this wouldn't happen. And what these crack lines, this fissure, these fissure lines indicate is that the ice is an actual fact floating on an ocean of liquid water. And that is what, is ma what makes Europa so exciting, because when there's liquid water, there is some chance of there being life on Europe that we might at least recognize to some extent as similar to what exists on our planet. And that is why scientists love to go there, love to send a probe to Europa with all the technical difficulties that that entails, try to get under the ice and see what's there. But the question of course arises, how come there is a liquid ocean of water on Europa? How could that happen? Because, in all fairness, an object that's that small, that far away from the Sun, should, in all fairness, be a solidly frozen ball. So what gives? Well, you see, Europa does not float aimlessly through space. Europa is a moon. And as such, it orbits the biggest planet in the solar system. Jupiter. Now Jupiter is a gas giant. It is possibly made entirely out of gas and even if it does have a rocky core, as some people suggest it might be, even if it does have that, that core will be quite small. The large bulk of what Jupiter is made of is gas. Gas. But the thing is, when something is as big as Jupiter, it doesn't really matter what it's made of anymore. Yes, Jupiter is made out of gas, but it is, after the Sun, by far the biggest object in the solar system. And big objects, regardless of what they are made of, have one thing in common. They extend a large amount of force on the surrounding objects, and that force, of course, is called gravity. No matter what an object is made of, if it's as big as Jupiter, it will be very, very noticeable because of its gravity. Europa, going around Jupiter, is constantly being wrung by these forces. And all this ringing all these tidal forces that constantly hammer Europa cause friction and generate heat. And because of that, the water on Europe, Europa, underneath the ice, there is a an ocean of liquid water on Europa. We guess, we think. Gravity is not something that you can ignore. Gravity is not something that you can dismiss as insignificant. Gravity cannot be countered. There is no such thing as a shield against gravity. All matter in this universe, as far as we know, other than photons, even photons actually, all matter in this universe is subject to gravity. Gravity is attractive. Gravity is inescapable. If you look at a scenario in the universe 
and you fail to take gravity into account, you're going to make yourself look like an idiot. I'm not going to explain this any further, but what I would like you to do is look at something truly impressive that I saw on YouTube. I've made this video a response to that. Go have a look and enjoy. Thank you for watching and reboot your mind.